are three notepads. Cool? This one is a notepad. It, when you open it up, has pages you can write on. This one is a notepad. It, when you open it up, has pages written on. The um, has pages you can write on. This one is a notepad and as soon as you think it, the words enter the pages and it starts to mm. take notes of any thought. So all you have to do in your mind is say notepad and then think any thought and boom, write blog posts, boom, give yourself a message. You can say notepad, send to computer and it will give you reminders and put things in your calendar. This notepad is an artificial intelligence notepad and it's going to allow you to be independent and get everything in your thoughts down. You're lying in bed, it's kind of warm, you don't want to get up and get your notepad or your pen out to write some ideas or like me, you're lying in bed receiving upgrades, you can't move and you've got ideas, you go notepad and you write it all up and then when you're able to move up to your upgrades, you look and boom, all the stuff's there. Yeah. <laughs> Which notepad would you like? The this last one? one. Why? <laughs> you can get a notepad anywhere in the world. Can you get this anywhere in the world? You can only get that here today, right now. And if you like, we can set up a pre-order form for you. I've only got 10 of them. Do you understand? Innovation makes things different. People like a different experience. You could sell snow to an Eskimo. <laughs> 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 I'm just wondering if that was a little bit of dark side of the force sale, Gabby. Why? No, no there's nothing no. in that. No, I'm just kidding. Well, imagination's real if you think yeah, it's real. I promise real. you it exists. I've been told that there's no such thing as imagination. You're just tapping into other realities. So this does exist in another alternate timeline. And guess what? If you want it, yes. keep thinking about it and you'll shift to a world where someone yeah, creates this and boom. <laughs> Don't be surprised. In the next 10 years, these types of products will be around. Yeah, sure. I'm just tapping into future timelines. You can pre-order with me right now. <laughs> 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 now here's the thing right here's the problem with innovation innovation is a new box and it can come through very exciting for you until you're like fuck what if no one likes it what if people think it's dumb what if no one wants it what if I won't be the one that's excited about this yeah and you could not action the innovation the other part to innovation too is sometimes not all innovations are there to last forever. I see innovation as a playground. You get an idea, you give it a crack. Did it work? Did you like it? Yes, yes, keep it. Did it work? Did you like it? Not so much. Eh, another idea comes in. It's creativity in business. It's allowing your channel to flow. It's allowing you to be the artist of your product. Dress your product how you want to. Give it a funny hat. See how that goes. Did it like it? Did you like it? Did the market like it? Yes, they did. Great. It keeps the funny hat. When I first downloaded to call this mastermind first class business mastermind, I was lying in my bed. I, wa I wanted a cool name for this mastermind. And I'm lying in bed. It's like five in the morning. I wake up and I receive first class because it's coded with freedom. It's coded with choice. It means that if you can fly first class, you've got the choice to be able to fly first class. That's luxury, it's, it's all of the stuff, right? And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. The, uh, oh, I was so excited. I was like, and great, and I can wear a captain's hat. And, you know, and then at the end of the journey, they can get their own captain's hat to signify that they are willing, they're ready to fly on their own. I'm lying in bed. I'm so excited about this, right? I'm like, and I'll get like a little captain's jacket for the next event. We and Kelly and Kelly will get one and you know, we'll like I was like, oh, and when the event starts, I'll be like, welcome to <laughs> First take Class your Airlines. Seat, seat. Please, you know, like 
I can do this whole thing with, please. Strap in your seatbelts because you're in for a ride, ride, wild ride. We're about to take off. Please keep all your possessions by you at your feet. Don't spread them on other people's tables. Like all this stuff is coming through. I'm so excited in my bed. Then I get out of bed. Then about an hour later, I'm like, what if they think it's stupid? <laughs> what, what if they think it's just dumb? I'm like, hmm, <laughs> didn't think of that. And I was like, you know what? If they think it's dumb, I just won't do it again. <laughs> and so I get online and I purchased <clears throat> some pilot <laughs> outfits, which when you look up the pilot dress up outfits, outfits, they were sexy little pilot costumes. They were like little dresses that you zip up, but we just turned them into jackets. They were yeah. short enough for it. <laughs> So we had these jackets, which were basically sex costumes. We had pilot hats on, and we launched first class. And guess what? They loved it. And it stayed. And it just it added a bit of fun and a bit of like, you know, just a bit of fun. Plus the coding of it, I felt, was important. The whole container's coded with the frequency of abundance and freedom and luxury. Yeah? Does this make sense? Just because you have an idea doesn't mean you're going to have divine knowing. You've got to bump up sometimes against the control of things. And innovation is awesome. If your product is unique, people will travel the world to experience it. We have clients all over the world in this container. Who flew here <coughs> to be here today? Raise your hand if you had to catch a plane to be here. Look, half the room, more than half the room flew here. Can you get that? If I was selling a notepad, do you think they'd fly here? No, they just go and get a notepad where they live. <laughs> this is so important. I went for the magical notepad. Yeah. A while ago, Pia innovated high vibe facials. Mm. And since then, how many people have traveled? I travel, you know, to people have come. Like, you know, they come into the country, they'll go get a high vibe facial with her. And it's because it's a unique experience. You go in, you get high frequency, awesome light waves, you get organ activation, sound healing, best activated massages. Oh, it's off its head awesome, right? Innovation. And so I would love to open you up to allowing yourself to get that unique is better. Yeah. Because it means people will be willing to move mountains to, to get to it because nobody else is selling it. It's not just another notepad. And this is important for any of you who feel a bit uncomfortable about your uniqueness. You're sitting on a gold mine. But when Livia's like, no, I don't want to share this, I'm like, fucking, seriously? <laughs> like, <laughs> looking for something to... <laughs> I'm like, if you only knew from a marketing perspective how freaking amazing this is. <laughs> right? Sometimes I fall on my knees. <laughs> and this is where, this is why it's so important to have your uniqueness. You own your uniqueness, injecting it with your flavor. People will be called to it, letting the ideas flow through and being creative, painting your own paintings which we're playing around with tomorrow, letting you expand, channel in, co-create, and trust that innovation takes you everywhere and being the same does not. And that's all there is to it. People do not travel and go far and wide for the same thing. If you had a galactic business coach next door, would you be in this program? You know what I mean? You're here because you wanted galactic business coaching. Who here wanted galactic business coaching? Does this make sense? You don't... Well, I didn't even, but like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what I wanted and then it was there. And you're like, I really do want this. <laughs> you didn't even know you wanted it until what you had it. What I did know that I wanted was yeah. like, I didn't want to join a mastermind that was only online with no human contact. And that was and something that was really important And of course the features are there too. And we're going to cover of features course. tomorrow as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, please get, right, that there's other masterminds that have human contact. Yeah? 
yet you're here because you actually do like the multi-dimensional element of it. Yes. You dig it. Yes. If I was just sitting here going strategy, 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 I promise you half of you would be sleeping under the tables. <laughs> so when we tune into innovation, I would love you guys to go home today with the intention to allow yourself to get that innovation is magic sauce. Your uniqueness is magic sauce and every single one of you has it. You all have it. And it's awesome. There are beige people out there. Mm. And I'm sorry, but they never go very far in business. They just don't. It's another notepad. Do you get it? You've got to chuck so much marketing and advertising at this puppy. You've got to go and knock businesses and get these into as many hotels as you put. It's hard yards selling a generic product. Then you've got to compete with other generic products yeah, on price. Haven't you noticed that? Yeah. It's like, well, this notepad looks pretty much the same. This one's a dollar, this one's two. I'll get the one for a dollar. Is this helpful? Yeah. Land in this. Know this. Your innovation is your key. And you're so lucky you have it because there's a stack of people out there that don't. And it's your soul that's the key. It's letting your soul shine through. It's letting it be you, your unique frequency. And the weirder, the better, as long as it's in alignment. Alex and I laugh about this often, that, you know, I do account a lot of her success to her courage to just be herself. Mm. And we laugh at the fact that if a loudmouth swearing lesbian <laughs> can... <laughs> Can, can, you know, can build a successful business, fuck anyone can. The, um, we, don't we, baby? Come on, that was, that was, that was, that was love. The, no, it's true though, like we joke about this because it is the fact that she was courageous enough to shine her uniqueness and her innovation is her. If she was to pretend to be something else, if she was to hide her uniqueness and not be that, it, it, she wouldn't, you wouldn't be where you, there you go. If I add to that, then throw it back here. Um, the funny thing is, that well not funny, ha ha, that when I first came out to my parents, my mum was petrified and she was trying to convince me like, don't tell anyone at your workplace. You're not going to get any promotions. Look what happened to Ellen G. Generous when she came out in the Ellen show. The fucking show flopped and da 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 da. Really? Great. Yeah, no, it did first. Oh, and okay. then she, yeah. yeah. And I was, had such a knowing. I was like, fuck off. I'm going to be the loudest and fucking proudest lesbian and you're going to fucking swallow that pill, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and albeit there was a bit of alchemizing to do there. But, yeah. yeah, it's like, for me, it's like inspiring others that if a, a loud, proud, swearing, dancing, now rapping lesbian can make this kind of abundance, <laughs> imagine what's that possible for you, yeah. you know? And yeah. that's no, why, like, joke. it's a belief that I yeah. get paid abundantly just by being authentically me. And we all actually do because that's when our codes are shining the brightest and where people are attracted to them. And people get called to Alex because they want to upload her courage codes. They want to upload her authenticity codes. They get called to her because they're needing those codes and she's got them fully active in her field yeah. and she's owning her codes. Even own <laughs> well, now you do. Oh, yeah. And you have right. to do one of these seven things. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can we pass the mic? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Carissa? Something that really massively landed for me around this recently because I've got... I'm launching a product and I'm going to have a sleepover as part of the container. It's because there's a massive You're system element. Well, I'm still working Imagine out the pajamas, fine. Branded pajamas. That was the original yeah. vision, right? And so, because to me, having like a sisterhood, like night in, you know, playing with cards and doing all the fun shit is exciting. And the thing that really helped me land this to a point where it's happening was when I realized that my avatar are like me. So if it excites me, it's gonna excite them. And so it doesn't need, I don't give a fuck who else doesn't like it. I don't care if you don't like sleepovers, not you're not invited. To, they're not meant to <laughs> Right? And so if it excites me and I own that and I follow that, then the people who also want it will find it. Yep. 
And this is so powerful too. Please know our products aren't for everyone. They're for the ones that they're for. It's that simple. And there are people out there that are just like, man, this is awesome. By the way, I'm just curious as we wrap things up, who loved me sharing the codes I downloaded for you, the key codes and sharing them with you? Yep, who thought that was really cool? I'm excited about it and so are you. Yeah, could have been different. I could have been like, oh man, you know, do I share these things? Do I just do it and just like, you know, what if they think they're gay? No, not even for a second. Love it, thank you. Yeah, and this is the game, you know. Me sharing these codes with you is an innovation. Is there anybody else on the planet right now sharing this codex with you? No. Nope. And if they downloaded it before you and they didn't share it, that's their own stupid fault. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> right? Mic drop. And so, upon this note, please ground into this your innovations, your uniqueness, your ideas, you, you are the magic pill. You're the magic source. Allow that to shine and know that if you have any moment where you're like, oh man, that's too different, that's too unique, you're sitting on a gold mine. Mm -hmm. And this is across the board for every product. Look at Apple, for goodness sakes, have a look. Here's a, here's a company that took over the industry and so many other products out there, no one wants them. Everyone wants an apple. It's got to make you think. It's got to make you really feel into it. I trust you enjoyed that video and there's plenty more where that video came from. And if you'd love to experience some of my trainings and activations, go to my website, gabbykowalski.com and hit the resource button. There you'll have activations on abundance, evolution, multidimensional business. And you can also find out about my courses and programs. Remember to subscribe. Ciao.